Hey, this will be a video chart on WAVX Wave Systems Corporation. Longtime follower of this one. Uh, really made a nice move, you know, back here when uh, it just seemed to refuse to go down. And since then, it's pretty much um, been pulling back over time. But uh, recently, in the short term, charts really have been coming back to life again. And that's kind of where the majority of the questions have um, been dealing with is kind of what's been going on in the past. I guess you could say month and a half so that's really the angle I'm going to take um, from the chart just to show uh, what things you do and don't want to see during this current move so the first question is uh, you know is this a reversal or is this just a bounce and for me right now I'm of the opinion that this is more of probably just a longer term bounce and I'll explain uh, why I'm of that opinion but a lot of people think that just because the chart starts to head back up that it's an auto automatic reversal but uh, charts and you know just stocks in general need to go through uh, you know there there's different phases and the first phase would just be to level out and uh, show some strength which it has done on this day here and then it's got to um, bounce and then it finally reverses and then there's a breakout so right now uh, it's definitely you know no doubt about it has leveled off showed some strength and I think it's just bouncing right now. Um, now some people say, well, I think this is a reversal. And, you know, I don't think you're totally wrong. But the reason I say that I'm not quite convinced yet to call this a reversal is we're still below this orange line here, which is the 200-day simple moving average. Uh, if we can start to get some closes above this moving average, then that's where I think you can start to say, okay, it looks like the chart is reversing and we're ready to head back up into, you know, the th $3 land and maybe get back up into the fours. Uh, but until that, I'm just going to call this more of a longer term bounce. Uh, you know, in the short term, it is a, a bullish uptrend. You can see that by looking at these two moving averages here. This blue line is the 10 day and this reddish line is the 20 day. They're both clearly sloping upwards. So the short term uh, is up right now. Uh, long term kind of neutral yes I guess this 200 day is increasing but it's kind of flattening out and the medium term which I use as purple line the 50 day simple moving average is uh, bearish right now you can see it's clearly sloping downwards uh, so if that's confusing just real quick the short term trend is up based on these two moving averages the medium term is down right now based on this 50 day moving average and the long term is neutral right now based on this uh, pretty much flat uh, 200 day simple moving average now in terms of uh, supports and resistances, kind of already answered the resistance question. Right now the key resistance is going to be this 200 day simple moving average. If you can get above that, then it becomes a critical area of support. But just going through the history of the chart, you can see that twice here, uh, the 200 day knocked it back down. Here it knocked it back down. And then even yesterday, uh, it knocked the price down. It did get above it intraday, but we care about where the closes are since we're using the daily chart. So uh, wasn't able to close above there. Therefore, it is still a uh, resistance. In terms of supports, kind of already answered that too. Uh, the, if we can hang above these two moving averages, that's going to keep the short-term trend bullish. And eventually, obviously, short-term will become a medium-term trend upwards, and it'll just keep a kind of domino effect. So ideally, I'd like to see the price stay above these two moving averages. Uh, but kind of worst case, and the must-hold, as I'll call it, is going to be this level down here. Uh, which is valued at, let's see, probably drop this down a little bit more, right about here, which is right around uh, the 205 area. I would call this the must hold area of support. So I'll make this extra thick so that sticks out. But um, like I said, ideally we want to see the price stay above these uh, shorter term moving averages. Uh, but if they do fail, then the must hold level is going to be down here right around this 205 zone. Because if this level can hold, then more than likely it's going to be back down here uh, to give the 180 mark a test. And it wouldn't surprise me if that wouldn't uh, then fail below there. But for now, you know, the chart's definitely been putting in lower highs. We've had this low, this low, and low. And now hopefully it's uh, working on putting in uh, right around this 240 mark as the newest low. Uh, but we'll have to see what next week brings. But overall, short term chart's looking very nice. But I wouldn't quite call it a reversal yet until we can get... Uh, back above and stay above this 200-day uh, moving average. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It's all free, no strings attached. We've been making some good money together on the alerts and so forth. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and give it a try. One more time, this was WAVX. Thanks for listening and enjoy your weekends.